Hi, my name is Chris Nelson and welcome to our National Karate Online class. And in this segment, I'm going to be working on the side kick and the side stomp. So uh, both the side kick and the side stomp use the same motion. I'm using pads just to demonstrate this. So um, I'm thinking about hitting with the heel. That's really important. You don't want to hit with the toes. You want to hit with the whole foot. I want to think about hitting with the heel. What that does is the displacement forces a lot more power. And the key to this is to get a lot of knee bend. We call that a chamber. So uh, I don't want to just have my foot up a little bit and kick. I want to get that knee up as high as I can and then stump on it. Again, this is something if you're at home and you don't have a pad like this, you can just grab a couch cushion, a thick pillow, that kind of thing. And again, you just practice that knee up, stump. Knee up, stump. You know, we want to do both legs for sure. You never know what side somebody's going to be attacking you from. So again, it's knee up high, stump. Knee up high, stump. All right, so that's the basic of it. You got the chamber and you got the stump. And this is a really powerful kick because you're using some of the strongest muscle groups in your body. You've got your quadriceps and you've got your glutes and they work together, they hit really hard. And if we take that same technique and go higher with it, Mr. Jesher, can I just pull the pad? So instead of stomping down, but I stomp belt level or that, that higher, then I'm gonna be doing what's called a side kick. Now, again, on a target, if, if I just use him as Hard, but if he was attacking me, I could use that on the foot. I could stomp the knee. I could stomp the ribs. All of those are going to be really effective targets. So, depending on the age, you can have a parent hold this pillow. Um, a lot of times when I do this in class, I just actually will pretend Mr. Dresher is a wall. And uh, most, most kids' belt level is about here. And we just have them practice doing the kick on the wall that way, that's perfectly acceptable. So, um, what I want to talk about next is the pivot. So this is super important. Um, the pivot is the key to this technique. If I don't pivot, what happens is when I kick, I fall over. Because the pivot is where the leverage comes in. So what I want to think of doing is have the toes face the opposite direction of my target. And what that does is it gives me the ability to have leverage, to push him away. And again, um, we, this is for adults, for kids, but especially if you think about kids, if they're defending against somebody who's bigger than them, stronger than them, they need to have all the little karate secrets right so that they can maximize the power. Now, um, the way we teach adults to do this technique is we have the, the foot comes up to chamber and the bottom foot pivots, the ball of the foot. By the way, the ball of the foot is this part. Some people think the heel is the ball because it kind of looks like a ball, but the ball of the foot is here. That's really important because that's where the balance comes from when you're on the balls of your feet. Um, so I think that's the best way to do this, where I pivot and I kick. However, for the beginners, just learning how to do this technique, um, getting the body position um, it, it correctly is actually more important than figuring out the, the twisting. Because what I, I really want to do is have my backside facing the target. And that's the whole point of the pivot. Um, so I want you to think about, like if you ever went to a horse stable, they always tell you, you know, don't stand behind the horse. And the reason that is, is because the horse can kick you really hard, really easily, going that way. Well, we're a little bit the same way. Um, it's hard for me to kick out to the side, um, but my muscle groups, again, my, my glutes and my quads, here right, I am hit you, go, go really easily and really hard if I go back that way, is that too hard? Sorry, I get that knee up, chamber and I hit. So if we have some of our four or seven year olds just start in this position with their seat facing the pad, the bottom foot there, bam and hit, that's gonna be super effective. And then as they get higher, you know the brown, four or seven year old brown belt stage, we'd like them to actually be implementing that pivot. So whether they do it from feet together or from you know a fighting stance, it'd be the chamber and then that pivot so that I can turn my hips, pivot, and I hit. I can pivot and hit. And then even the brown belt, um, black belt, even when we start sparring, we start doing what's called the slide side kick. So I start a little bit farther away. It's the same technique, but I pick the foot up. I have a little knee bend down here, 
and I launch myself into the technique. Because when I'm fighting, if I was, if Mr. Jesh and I were sparring, you know, we've got that distance between us. I, I'm never going to get away with, right? So it's got to be one smooth, bam, one smooth motion, bam. All right, so that's kind of all the different progressions from side stomp to side kick to the pivot to the slide. And why don't you go work on that for 10 or 15 minutes? All right, thanks.